All right, lads and ladies, here we go. All right, lads, we have Chapel. A uh, huge advantage advantage for the allies. Uh, both second points for both teams are on the northern side of the map. So I would assume both hinge garrisons are going to be able, you know, around here and around here. Let's see what kind of openers they get. Uh, allies do kind of get an early lead um, here to the strong point. Let's see how they play it. Well, let's see these truck routes. And let's see if we get any snipes. We got a fairly full middle truck here. Because, okay, all trucks are about equal in quantity. I don't know if there's a limit on how many people can be SLs. So what's looking like it's going to happen here is we got a lot of people going to squad lead. Drop their OPs. Everyone's basically spawned in. They're going to spawn in off the OPs. Grab the trucks. And make their way to Chapel. Let's see how the allies are looking over here. Pretty solid um, Vanguard truck here on the north side. Got one truck mid with about four guys in it. Remember, guys, this is a 35 v 35. Medium tank going up middle lane seems. And a, you know, about equal strength southern truck. And we're five seconds out. Looks like P4 is probably just going to go right up the middle, honestly. All right, match has begun. Ping's coming out for artillery from DJ. Snipe's going out. I don't think anything's going to hit. I don't think they're going to go on more conventional routes. That rocket site just barely missing... That transport truck, though. Snipes going out. Kind of... Kind of close. Like I said before, allies have easy access to strong point. They get there first. We got a northern transport truck going up to Grandma's house. Just north chapel. Looks like you're going to get a dive here from the German light tank, the Lukes. They're kind of doing exactly what they need to be doing. You actually got a transport truck Re uh, with a recon sniper going all the way in the back. Somehow the allies have allowed this. Oh, Straver coming right on in. Allies somehow are allowing this Lukes. To just work them on the strong point. Almost every body on the strong point is gone down. Allies, although they have the better map position, not winning the cap fight here. Actually, mostly getting white. Medium Sherman kind of being very conservative here, unfortunately. Probably to the detriment of his team. Only one, it seems only one allied OP is actually in the strong point being nailed by artillery right now. Axis team surprisingly Taking the lead, looks like Mr. Polo, the White Tiger, bringing down the Lukes that was capturing, basically helping the strong point get captured. You do have one Axis SL in the strong point currently. Point you started to flicker back and forth. A lot of team starting to Gain the advantage for a moment. One already strike. Clearing him off the strong point. Seventy-five medium rolling into position. Wait, did that just strike the medium tank? No, it did not. 
Panzer IV, direct line of sight. Oh my god, did they nail the shot? They hit the tracks for some reason. They hit the tracks of Panzer IV, kind of whipping the shots. The tracks hit again. P4, not worried. It's only track shots. 75 actually now hitting hull. Panzer IV also missing their shots. No, not hitting hull, hitting tracks. Yeah, no hits on the medium Sherman yet. What's going back and forth right now, boys? Eight minutes into the match, no cap progression so far. Axis team was making a lot of very good for progress, but no such luck since then. Scythe and Woodsman, thank you for the follows, guys. Welcome on in. We are casting a 35v35 match here between Vanguard and basically Helios. Point is going back and forth, folks. We got one Axis soldier in the strong point, Mr. Seely. He's gonna probably have a satchel there. Looks like the medium Sherman is actually moving up to try to seal the deal on the cap. Both teams are doing pretty well. And I think I think the Axis team has taken pretty good control of the strong point. That's a lot of bodies in the strong point. Actually, oddly enough, they're actually starting to lose the point. No, they're starting to cap the point back. I see. Artie's still pounding on that uh, one or two OPs that are in the strong point. A lot of flares coming out from Mr. Brazilian. Brazilian noob. Uh, P4 actually rolling forward with the backup from a tiger. 176 looks to be in the field as well. I think all the way back there. He's not in position yet. Medium tank actually getting first shots on the Panzer IV. Backing off from the fight. Got to pass it off to the Tiger. That medium tank needs to stay up. He goes down to Axis AT, bringing in the medium down. Allied team still capping 11 minutes into the match. P4 was kind of making a push in for the strong point. Starting to back off now. Seventy six hang back, playing play pretty conservative. Or they're stuck, one of the two. Seems to be a mixture of both. They have two Axis tanks pounding the strong points, making it extremely difficult paired with Artie to gain ground.
EZ4 making a dive into the strong point. That 76 needs to get in the fight here soon to save this point. Axis team has stopped the allied cap progression on Chapel. Braz actually making really good board gains here, guys. Mope getting shots into the ass of... No, he did not get shots into the ass of Panzer Four. That was only track shots. Oh, it was ass shots. Unless they never repaired from when they engaged the medium. Prism and Braz go at it. Braz bringing down Prism. Allies no longer capping the point. We were 13 minutes into the match and neither point has capped. It's going back and forth. They really need a solid spawn wave on the strong point. Yeah, you know, one tiger tank in here. What the 76 has to get in the fight. Or this is gonna be a Axis cap here if that 76 is not getting the fight. Big spawn wave though, but they they gotta get in that building. They're getting farmed by the artillery. Braz, I don't know if he's got the satchel down or not. Um, the first match to say, 82nd versus, 82nd versus, um, the circle, 82nd one. Neither team really able to gain ground here. They're kind of just holding the same positions. Although, the, the killing blow might come from the north here for the allied team. Axe team might come swoop in from the north off Grandma's house. Tire tank starting to roll forward now. 76 get the position. Who's gonna get first shot? We're about to have it here any moment. They're both rolling forward for his gear. Tire tank actually looking away. 76 gonna bounce on the wall here for a second. And 76 gets hits first, kicking it reverse immediately. Tire tank looking to pick up second shot. Not quite able to get second shot quickly. 76 is reloaded. They should pop the shot. They got the shot. 76 is going to go down, most likely. 76 goes down. Axis team starting to cap again. We got a match that's gone 15 minutes without a clear winner of the midpoint to start the match. Water Jug possibly going to pick up a beautiful satchel on the Tiger Tank. Would have been better if he was AT Rockets. Would have sealed the deal on that Tiger Tank. And it was really bad timing for the 76 to go down because Axis team... Gaining a lot of ground. They now have a second Tiger Tank in the field. There should be a second 76 in the field too by now. You know... Ally team really struggling just to kind of hold their own in the south here. And they're, they I think it's coming down to the sum of gunfights here. I think the Axis team is winning the majority of the gunfights, it seems. Kind of doing a brief inventory. And it, yeah, it does kind of seem like the Axis team's got the slight edge in winning the gunfights. You actually have a Axis bombing run coming into the strong point. And from what I'm seeing is a lot of Vanguard have actually been completely wiped uh, as far as their OPs go from 
the cap zone. And I think they've been reset to their backline garrisons. One big spawn wave here. So somebody did get an OP up. Maybe we're about to get two OPs up. Maybe even three SC, three SLs there. Was that an airhead? All right, team's starting to hold for a moment, but they got to gain ground. So these guys up here spawning up north here, they got to shut down this push from the north, but they got to do it quickly. That is the key. We got a allied bombing run coming in now. Let's see where it lands. 18 minutes. No cap progression. Great bombing run. Dude, how has no one capped this fight yet? This is crazy. Oh, my God. No delay. No delay. I, I am so surprised that no team in in almost almost 20 minutes into this match have capped mid. Uh, X team getting closer and closer. They do have one guy in strong point. Neither team sealing the deal yet. And honestly, it's just... Really, Axis already is just pounding a strong point. Uh, this is basically the last refuge for much of the allied team. Sai, please try to be a little bit more polite in the chat. Like, please, Mr. Sai. Uh, Vanguard stopping the cap, starting to recap off of one spawn wave. Yeah, last time it was too short with uh, Vanguard. It's not a garrison. It's just OPs. It's uh, still neutral cap. No garrisons go up. No garrisons can be built in the neutral zone until... I, until the neutral zone's capped. They're purely working off outposts, and... We actually have a... Greyhound going on a dive, going down to Axis AT. Who's trying to make a play. Where is the second 76? We got Stuart up north here. Axis team only 60 seconds from capping. I think they're going to get it. They've wrapped around almost completely around the strong points. Satchel's going off on the strong point. Oh, sorry, just south of the strong point, excuse me. Twenty minutes. No cap over mid yet. And it is that Axis artillery just feasting right now. Uh Mr. DJ already ha it's only a thirty five feet, thirty five V thirty five. He already has 500 CE. 500 combat score. And Vanguard starts to hold it again. Vanguard starts to hold it. Han Solo trying to work the back line, shutting down these garrisons that are kind of keeping Vanguard in the fight. And they're just going back and forth here, guys. Speed must be so frustrating not to be able to build any garrisons in this neutral zone. But we're now 21 minutes into the match with no cap either way. Axis team is very close to capping the point. Once it's capped, A, I'm taking a piss. B, I'm thinking that the Axis team is going to, or Allied team is going to be able to start flagging it back. We shall see. Where is this allied armor? There is a 76. Way in the back line. Three seconds out from the Axis team capping. Axis team very close. Bama and Barota are both alive to get OPs down. If oh my god! Vanguard stopped it in the last second! Again! 
<laughs> what is this? What is this troll? What is going on? We're all getting trolled here. We're living in a simulation. They're capping back more spawn waves on the strong points. We are all actively getting trolled here. This is insane. Oh my god. We are now <laughs> getting close to a half an hour with neither capping either point that tiger is putting work in with he on the strong point 76 being insanely uh conservative right now uh their team is suffering under the withering withering fire or i should say relentless fire from that tiger tank they gotta make a play the 76 they gotta engage the tiger they gotta figure it out they know where it is they should know where it is uh, Axe team starting to cap again. Uh, about four seconds out from capping. Let's see if Vanguard pulls up another stop. And there we are, guys. 23 minutes into the match. And the point is finally capped. Allowing the Axis team to put up garrisons. Oddly enough, they put up a lot of southern garrisons. We got five. Eight garrisons on the board. They're going to have to start deleting garrisons, shuffling garrisons north. They want northern garrisons. Great. <laughs> Great opener so far. Uh, medium tank a little late to the arrival. For some reason, diving into the strong point, even though he knows there's a tiger to his west. I, I, I don't know what play that is, but Vanguard starting to cap the point back. Yeah, so the play by the medium there, I don't really understand. You know the Tiger's over there. You gotta know, because he's been pounding there for 10 minutes. It's like you got a guy knocking on your door for 10 straight minutes. He's loud about it. Like, you know he's there. You're just ignoring him. Allies did start to cap it for a moment. They still have the strong point. They got the strong point under control. Vanguard getting some really good spawn waves on the front door. W keying into the strong point. Um, looks like a lot of glows shifting up north. Helios, I'm just gonna call him Helios. Uh, shifting north, trying to get offensive garrisons going, and they're kind of suffering for it in the middle. Now they have two tigers up on the field. 76 now rolling forward. Second 76 is in the field. Uh, guys, I gotta take a pee break real quick before anything else happens. BRB, you can see everything here. All right, doesn't seem like there's been any progression on the point. We got this 76 over here, kind of more on the north side. Where'd that uh, first 76 go? I'm not seeing him on the field. Nor am I seeing a carcass here. 176 actually looks like he's been hit once. Both Tiger tanks are still up. Garrison is marked. No, I do see this dead 76. You know, I, I always, I, I kind of see this with teams sometimes. Their starting 76 is extremely timid, and especially in points where you like you need to make a play, you like you're trying to save the point, you're trying to retain the cap. You got to, you got to make a play, and that kind of that 76 kind of hung back for way too long, uh, and then they ended up not getting a kill at all. They kind of shifted the advantage to the Axis team. Um, you got to have some confidence in your tanking abilities. You got to make a play. You got to move forward. Because um, even the de delaying the tiger, making it so they can't just push up freely and keeping them busy might even help your team in the long run because that's less uh, uptime on them shelling HE on the strong point that you're trying to hold or protect, hold or take. Uh, looks like Bob, Bobby over here, solo capping AA battery. Pinko's actually falling back just to contest it uh, against Bobby. Axis team starting to surge forward, gaining ground, getting map control of F5, F6. Allies consistently getting pushed back here. And it's going to come down to, I think, these ally tanks figuring it out, making it happen. Uh, Garrison on Grandma's house does go down to Mr. Sholmes. Sholmes taking down the garrison, taking down the supplies. 
Davako unfucked by the fact that Garrison was just smelling next to him. Maybe he's looking to cover the ass of the Tiger Tank. Wait, how did Sholmes not see him? Goes for the immediate bandage. Tiger tank rolling forward, possibly going to get line of sight on this command mark. 76. Wait, that's... Wait, another 76 going down. That 76 over there goes down now. D plus two. Breaking down a tiger tank, finally figuring it out. It's the 1v1 situation we're here with the 76 and the tiger. Good job on Vanguard for bringing down that tiger tank. They are staying in the fight. We got an hour left on the board here, folks. What am I going to do for dinner? Got to figure that out. Wow. Pretty good rocket shots coming in. Hoping to pick up some kills. Little hot. He probably got a D elevate for at least 75 meters. They got they're trying to hit these trenches here. We got smokes coming in, trying to cover Keanu Uchiha's push into the strong point. Shogun cleaning up people, spawning this garrison. Prism looking to anchor the garrison and guard it. Prism actually getting gunned down by MG42. Shogun uncontested. Gonna be able to spam the garrison. Vec is not gonna make it there in time. Garrison goes down, and the front door has been cleared. Helios gaining map control of the front door just by W keying forward. 76, possibly satcheled, and receiving shells from... Is he satcheled? I do not see the satchel. I think he was going for it. Maybe did not see the deal on said satchel. Oh, you turned that match around and one Adam? Fuck yeah, dude. What are you talking about? Looks like Helios is kind of W keying forward, but they actually have no cap weight pressure on A battery, but they're gaining map control of G5, G6, H5, H6, shutting down the essentially any effective attack from uh vanguard right now vanguard's best spot to put any pressure on chapel is to spawn at grandma's health and house and push south there is a big gap guess so this is what we're talking about pushing from grandma's house so that's all vanguard right there this is grandma's house they're all pushing south from there not a lot of people covering it we got polo working the back line with spare booty booty hans booty Haas, Boutine Haas, bama and a handful of others trying to make a push from the north going south. We got Bear Core in the back line. We actually have a Stuart in the back line as well. Uh, Helios might be overextending here, but they got to make good use of that Stuart. There's no point in just sitting there with Stuart. They got to get in there. They got to be diving this back line a little bit, maybe even diving E column, trying to find those obvious spawns. I, I hope they don't get greedy and try to make a play on the Tiger while the 76 is not ready. They might be waiting for the 76, but the 76. Honestly, in no position to get an angle. Like, look at all that infantry pressure they're receiving. This this very spicy AT gun. Helios starting to get some cap weight pressure on a battery via 1 OP. And going to be a garrison. What do your elf eyes see? Tire tank going down on the strong point, actually. Like I said, 70, you know, Vanguard needs to start making plays, and they're making plays. 76 brings down the tire tank. Keanu Uchiha getting to strong point, but it might be too little too late. Garrison up in the red zone of Vanguard's defensive point. Ready to have spawn waves. It's open, not contested, not flagged. 
Fox Squad not getting the garrison up. Mr. Covenant not being able to build a garrison. Garrison up here is too close, most likely. Helios still capping. Good night, Sudi. Have a good night. Um, Jay Guardio, thank you for the fall, buddy. Looks like Helios just wq forward. Some Vanguard spawns falling back on defense. Although, this garrison uh, now locked up. Do they still get a spawn wave? One more second. No spawn wave off that garrison. Uh, Fox Watch. Oh, dude, that 76 brings down another Tiger. This. Oh, it was a different 76, but still, these 70. The, these allied armor crews figuring their shit out. They lost a lot of the early tank fights, but they're now figuring out. They brought down an AT gun. Allies starting to try to gain control of Hill 5, which if they don't have Hill 5, they have no attack on Chapel. Looks like Love Squad. By himself. I'm actually... I, I don't know what happened with that garrison. It That was weird that they didn't get any spawn waves on the garrison. It is a little different. It is 35v35. So there's about 15 people missing from the game. So... Those bodies you would think would spawn on a spawn are actually not available, really. Um, sometimes they are not available. Helios just W keying into the strong point. They only have four guys in the cap zone. Two guys soft cap, two guys hard cap. Oh, Vanguard actually had a garrison right next to the Helios garrison. This is getting messy. Vanguard clearing the strong points. Um, there's only one guy left alive. The OP actually goes down on offense. Actually, Von Mac and Kitex working on that outpost. But basically, the entire Vanguard team was forced. To fall back on defense. A Axis precision strike missing the 76. Ally team still pushing from the north. Axis team actually losing a lot of backline garrisons, but that could be by design. They might be. Dismantling garrisons here on the backside to rotate garrisons more forward. I'm not entirely sure what their goal is. Um, allies actually have a pretty good push going on the strong point here, but I think it's just faltering just outside the cap zone. Stuart! Making a dive on the strong points. Might get the garrison. If he does gun to the right, he's just doing gun 12 o'clock. Where is the situational awareness? Why would you not try to HE the strong point? Like, where do you think the enemy team's gonna be? Where do you think their spawns are gonna be, dude? Think about it. Think about it, dude. No kill from that Stuart on any spawns in the strong points. Allies got a very aggressive push coming in here north south, though. They still hold Grandma's house. Giga that W key and forward. Looking to pick up a satchel kill on. Oh, he actually puts it on the wall. He's actually being pretty conservative with that right there. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't start um, tapping here. Oh, absolutely missing Pop-Tart being a little bushwicky next to the garrison. He should have saved up his satchel, just planted it on the church itself. Um, 
Actually, I wonder if that satchel is going to end up killing Kitax if he moves too close to it. Satchel goes off, picks off no Axis infantry. And we're about to see a big push on a better. It's kind of crazy. 23 minutes to capture the midpoint. 23 minutes. Rock snipes coming in. They're trying to hit. They they got it marked as light vehicle. It must be a secondary mark. Uh, Seventy six actually getting satcheled, not even hearing or noticing the guy run up on him. Hearing the satchel now, it's probably too little, too late. Gets gun down. PT is free. Got to pick up. Easy satchel kill on 76. Allies doing a good job staying in the fight. Uh, looks like we got a tank mark up north and we got a Tiger Tank crew repping Nito versus the Tiger up north. Looks like they both traded shots. Why, why aren't they... What's going on here? Tire tank getting positioned again. No reps on the 76. Why would they not repair? What was the... What happened? They had two guys out, but no reps. What? Looks like the ally team was capping midpoint for a moment there. Doc Turden actually probably shutting down that, that northern outpost slash garrison being used to pressure chapel. They do have some front door pressure going on here. Just like that, Axis Bomber Run coming in, trying to clear a strong point. I think they recognize they've lost it. They lost their strong point garrison. Shots. 76 lands a shot. He's not going to win the battle, though. The Tiger can't be that bad. The Tiger is that bad. The Tiger is that bad. Oh, my God. The Tiger is that bad. Looks like that attacking allied squad was able to rotate their outposts closer to strong point. Bombing run clearing, cleaning up a lot of <coughs> the allied push on the strong point. We actually have a garrison right in the creek. We only have one axis tank up. Seventy-five medium coming out of mid. Huge push coming off of Hill Five. Artie seems to be pounding it, I believe. Germans taking control of Chapel once again. Chapel Strong Point getting the garrison up. Looks like, or they're going to attempt to. Straight run coming in across the garrison mark that they got up here in this field tiger tank taking one shot in the ass second shot misses on the part of polo hopping out baiting some repairs does polo pick up the kills no he actually gets gunned down by mg player or redeploys unsure which one Blair is going out. Spawn waves of AT. Look at the spawn in. Bobby's looking to cover the ass of the tiger tank. Tiger tank. Going to zip on out of there.
What I'm seeing here is I'm seeing a, a slight bit of a stalemate, although it does look like the Axis team really did double down on protecting their strong point and recovering that, but they got, they're kind of vulnerable up north here to losing a lot of their forward progress. Um, I believe this W7 up here in the north. Seventy six landing a shot on the tiger tank. Tiger tank, I believe, bring down the allied medium tank. Seventy six missing second shot, hitting the uh, hedge. No way to follow up with the second shot there. They're gonna move forward, gain ground. You're gonna reposition. Yeah, I do believe it was the allied medium that went down there in that situation. Oh my god! Both rocket shots being missed by Sholmes and Prism. You can't miss those. They miss again! Oh my god, the 76 is not ready to get a shot on the tiger. The 76, if he held his position, he would have finished that Tiger. Water Jug getting the Satchel close to... Somehow, Peace! Missing Water Jug allows the Satchel to get on the Tiger Tank. Shogun seeing him hitting his toes. Only a toe shot there. 76, not pressing the advantage. Doubtful the crew is going to be able to get the satchel off now. Shogun looks like he's showing up, trying to help. Looking for the satchel. He actually walks right past it. He's going to get the fuck out of there. It's too late. Satchel actually picking up two extra kills with that. I don't... Dude, I'm surprised they couldn't hit those rocket shots. That was maybe 100 meters. Maybe. We got a man flying here. Von Mack. Ground control to Major Tom. Man, it was flying. It seems like both armor crews are going tit for tat right now. I don't think any one team is really having, really running away with it in a crazy fashion uh, on the armor front. I think the Axis is maybe having a slight edge, but allies starting to pick up some tank kills along with their infantry supporting. 76 getting first shot on the Tiger. Tiger backing out of the fight. Tiger might be baiting a second shot. Oh my God. 76 nails the second shot, folks. 76 is just a little bit more prepared. These tankers were kind of struggling in the beginning here, but now they're kind of finding their flow. What a shot. What a shot. I don't believe Jack is playing. Looks like we do have a development here. Helios kicking in the front door of AA battery, and I'm not too certain if Vanguard is going to be able to put enough pressure on Chapel to kind of stop this attack. You do have Keanu Uchiha in the strong point. You got Sholmes in the strong point now, and Berlota in the strong point. Don't believe Berlota has an OP up, seeing as how close he was to the enemy infantry. This might be the moment where the allied tanks need to get in the strong point, make a dive. They just cleaned up two tiger tanks in quick succession. That is going to give them the edge. Um, just based off the timing of when they're able to spawn uh, tiger tanks.
Yeah, I think there's going to be delay in the Tiger tank here. I don't know why they're not W King forward and taking advantage of this opportunity. They got to understand it's like, oh, we just brought down three Tiger tanks last, I don't know, seven minutes, um, eight minutes, whatever it was. This is the time where your tanks need to be aggressive and not passive. You, if they're if they're keeping track of the events, they they know how many tanks are on the field. Or could be on the field. Does look like the allies are just going to opt for a full front door push. They actually have a Stuart backing up their second 76. They're kind of moving forward cautiously, but really it's going to... Like, they got to get out of the south here, in my opinion. Like, the south is going to be uh, Helios' best bet to bring down a heavy tank with infantry. Helios trying to land some shots on this heavy tank. Second 76 is moving forward. Uh, Helios does start to cap AA battery with the token force of just four guys. Three guys, maybe. So, technically, all Vanguard needs is one guy in the strong point to hold it. <clears throat> and or contest it by them two seconds and then they're ahead in the cap race uh which I, it looks like bama is looking to beat that guy i don't know if he's in the strong point yet no he's not but they do get a spawn wave off a strong point vanguard capping again off the strong point here see uh glows sorry helios and glows pretty close to get back to a strong point although they're gonna have two heavy tanks to contend with and a light tank. Vanguard now halfway capped on the strong point here. Only a PZ4 in the immediate area to provide any armor support. One AT gun is up in the south here. Maybe about to get side shots on the 76. 76 doesn't see the AT gun, although I don't think the AT gun sees the 76 either, so. Looks like the Stuart might be making a dive onto the strong point. I, I think I hear a recon. So, recon play coming overhead. Reinforce coming in. No bodies. That's an ally bombing run. Vanguard looking like they're going to take the cap. PZ4 kicking it in fourth gear, trying to get an angle on these 76s to make a play. They get stuck on the wall. A little confusion there with their driver. Probably coming out of the bush, didn't see the wall coming. And Vanguard takes the point. Although I'm not certain if they're going to be able to hold it. But that is two tanks in the strong points. That's a lot of cap weight. And Helios is sent back to Sunken Bridge. They got no garrisons in the south, no garrisons on the front door here. They do got supplies on standby to build said garrisons. But, uh, yeah, they're having to hit the reset button hard. Hard. They had a good control of that game for a long time. They were putting really good pressure on the A batter. I feel like it was a real missed opportunity that... There is no one available to spawn on this garrison up here. I felt that like it was up for over 60 seconds, at least, in the north here. I only saw the recon guy who was there, kind of like sitting, waiting, trying to anchor that garrison, keep it open. Tank going down. Looks like it was the Panzer IV going down, trying to make a play. Oh, wait! Panzer IV possibly bringing down the 76. I believe the Panzer IV brought down the 76 here. We got a 1v1 situation between one Tiger Tank and 176. I do believe... 
The allies should have enough fuel for 76, and there we are. There is that 76 coming out of middle spawn. Looks like Helios has really good map control to the north. They got great position on um, Grandma's house. Actually, starting to flag the point back. We got Waffle Zombie getting garrisons up in the south here. Uh, and they got that front door garrison rebuilt. Looks like Brazilian noob and Bear Corps are looking to maybe shut down that front door garrison. We'll see what happens. I don't believe Vanguard's in any position to put pressure on Sucker Bridge. So, Helios does have a pretty solid shot of being able to um, recap Chapel. Bearcore absolutely harassing the Tiger Tank, not allowing them to hop out and repair. Helios starting to cap back Chapel from the allied team. Helios hit the reset button real quick, slapping up a lot of garrisons in quick succession. Uh, Verdaro King, thank you for the fall, buddy. Welcome on in, my guys. Guys, if you're enjoying the stream, if you're enjoying the content, make sure to check out the YouTube page linked here and join us on our Discord if you want to play on our server and or be up on the stream news to know when this stuff happens. Looks like Vanguard getting a little pressure on Sunken Bridge. Sunken Bridge starting to get flagged. I believe it's probably only one gentleman. Yes, it's Brazilian noob in the back line. Uh, typically, in normal cop matches, you wouldn't really see um, people in the back line that much. Uh, but this is a 35v35 match, so you you know there's there's less guys to fill gaps, uh, and you know recon's gonna find a way back there. Looks like Vanguard having pretty good control of the houses to the south of Chapel, and they are vying for control of Grandma's house. You can see they actually got a pretty good push going. Um, Fox Squad OP only lighting up now. Able Squad OP going down to Kitex. Kitex maybe going to pick up a kill on the second OP. Kitex actually gets gunned down. Polo picking up the kill on Devaco, wiping the Fox Squad OP, shutting down Helios' presence to the north. Tino gunning down Mr. Waffle. They are re retaining control in the south here, although they do have one enemy outpost south of their position. Holy fuck! We got a 76 just diving in on this tiger tank here, folks. Tiger Tanks, one shot. Gets finished off by the 76. Ballsy play. AT gun in the back line from Ya. Yeah, he was doing armor. 76 is kind of like, wait, what the fuck just happened? Oh my god, they reversed the wrong way. They're flipping around. They gotta get a shot off. Three, two, one. They go down. They weren't ready. Spotter did not have his head on a swivel. Let's clip it, boys. Clip it. Second 76, moving forward, should know about the AT gun. Allies starting to cap or flag something, sunken bridge. 76, picking up a kill on the AT gun.
Allied 75 medium is in the field. Spicy German recon tank in backline. Looking to be a little nutty. Looking for a line. Sorry, lane on the 76 there. Looking for a line of sight. Helio starting to cap back mid. Oh. Seventy six starting to get surrounded by Axis Infantry. Recon tank still goes unnoticed. No rocket shots. Tracks pass to see him. Puba on the ass of seventy six. Oh my god. It's a mess. Oh, Puba taking a wrong turn. Seventy six just missing him. 76 getting satchel fire. Infantry. Infantry's rubber banding all over the place. That recon tank somehow is still alive. Recon tank going down. I know it's Poyo. I know it's Poyo. I, I call him Polo. I've been calling him Polo for, Polo for long months. Many months. Long months. Many long months. Um, looks like Vanguard is starting to put some solid pressure here on... Sunken bridge. They were flagging it for a moment. We got a 76 and 75 medium kind of holding point here. Helios flagging midpoint again. Somehow they're still capping. Here, still keeping on pressure here. Looks like Panzer IV is about to flank the 75 medium. Looks like Dank Nugs marking it up. The 75 medium might be getting the jump on the Panzer IV, actually. Rick and Pit. Whoa! 75 medium botching their shot. Not penning on the barrel. Getting cleaned up by the Panzer IV. Helios. Sorry, I choked on my own words there, but I was kind of surprised. How do you botch that? Anyways, it happens. Um, 75 medium going down to the Panzer IV medium. Axis Commander marking the 76. I've been streaming for like... 12 hours. I know the time doesn't show up. I've been streaming for like 12 hours. It started to show. Helios starting to not cap anymore on Chapel. Allies not able to put any pressure on Sunken Bridge. And now a Tiger Tank rolling out to the field. I think the Allies have fuel for another 76. Yeah, it's starting to roll in now. This AT gun is still alive here in the south. How is this happening? AT gun is actually harassing... 76, I believe. Ooh, no. Shorts are just... Sh sh shorts. Shots are just sh shy. Looks like a... 
Another Axis AT gun going down in the north. But dope. Hopping out to repair. Panzer 4 going to get a side shot on the 76. Panzer 4 and the Panther. Sorry, Tiger. Surging forward. Axe is starting to cap midpoint. Victorious, close to tank, getting killed. The crew member still alive. Panzer 4 about to get a side shot. Panzer 4 cleaning up that 76. That is a bad time for that 76 to go down. Uh, generally speaking, you can just join a Discord and uh, become a recruit. I generally recommend that unless you're at least level 100, don't try to get in the comp. If you do, start with like a D2, D3 team. You'll have a much better time. Um, maybe even get reps in more often. It's much a better experience. TL also recruiting. They're active recruiting, but I generally recommend for your own enjoyment. Start small. Unless you're like a really talented player, just right off the rip, you're like putting up a lot of kills. That's a second 76 going down to the Tiger Tank. Ally bomb, no. I yeah, Ally bombing run coming in. Ally bombing run dropping on their own guys? Allies just barely holding the point. P4. May have taken a health shot, but that's most likely just tracks from the bombing run. Is they got a reinforce up? Jesus Christ, how how is Helios capping? P4 just barely getting a strong point. Yeah, wait, that was like a... I saw that correct, right? That was that like bombing run dropping on their own guys. Helios still capping somehow. All from soft cap. Helios completely capturing just from soft cap alone. Mio hitting a non pen shot on the P4 in the rear. Both of the allied heavy tanks going down in quick succession. That's going to set them back. Looks like. Axis team already has a heavy tank spawned in middle spawn. I'm wondering, the Vanguard have a 76 in the field yet? They got a 75 medium in spawn. No eyes on any 76. Wow, beautiful rocket shot just coming off the edge of the turret on that tiger there. Vanguard pushed back pretty hard. They actually have Braz and uh, Kiss, a, <laughs> Kiss a Homie wrapping around their front door here, guys. And I don't know, Vanguard's going to have to put in a lot of work to turn around the situation. Vanguard's going to have to put in a lot of work. Not sure if Braz has any rockets left. Napalm. Baloo just hanging out in the strong points. Probably going to be exposed, exposed by um, that flare. Yes, he does get exposed. Gunning down Sealy though. Reloading. Cheese Louise should have heard the reload of the car 98.
<laughs> Sorry, of the conveyor, uh, M1 Garand. Um, interesting there. Uh, Napalm's still alive. <laughs> um,. He's probably on cloud nine right now after surviving that fight. Um, he's probably biding his time waiting to get an OP up. He's still unnoticed. Still living the rent free in the chapel strong points. Oh, gunning down sad panda. Come on, Peep had to hear that, right? He knows the sound of a. He's been called out in the sandbags. Walks over him. He says there's no one in the sandbags. He's gone down. Sad panda called it down to it and everything. Gunning down covenants. Allies start to cap or contest. What is this? Making fools of Helios here. <laughs> it's EL. Oh my god, he's solo capping off the strong point. Oh my god. Napalm. Maybe saving the game for Vanguard. Peef trying to redeem himself. He's like, fuck this, I'm satcheling the building. He's spraying and praying. Napalm cutting it down again! When will the madness end? It's so bad that they're gonna TK multiple of their own guys just to kill Napalm right now. What is going on? He cuts down two more! Someone should stop him. He's a menace! A menace! We needed an adult! A satchel going off! Oh, oh my god! Oh my goodness. Napalm becoming the number one prospect to be pulled onto any comp team. Big spawn whips in the back line by uh, Vanguard, actually. We got Polo and Keanu and Boutin Haas in the back line. Wow. He's gonna tell that story to his grandkids. Sad Panda is gonna have some words with the, with some of the boys after this match. Axis team kind of down to only two defensive garrisons. One, no, it's not really a defensive garrison, honestly. Down to two defensive garrisons. Looks like Han Solo Cups might be picking up another garrison here. Polo gunning down Colt in the back line. Toasty Bits looking to engage him. He's not ready. Polo is. Polo's got eyes on the Gary. He's on the 20. He's on the 10. He might go all the way. Polo picking up the garrison kill. Outpost still in the AO. Misses the OP only by inches. Axis supplies landing on the same locale, so that's going to work out. Someone's seeing into the future here. Wait, Polo. Doubling back to the bombed out building. No defensive garrisons. Oh, wait, no, they got Grandma's house up. Got two tigers in the field now. Um, no, okay, we got one medium. 75 medium. Pounding smoke onto strong point, trying to cover the advance. No defenders in strong point right now.
Helios starting to flag a battery with only two bodies. Peace really ought to be getting a front door garrison up in F3. Uh, they're going to do so via a supply drop. I don't know if I would make that play there. Um, allies starting to flag midpoint back and forth. Napalm into strong point again. 75 medium. No! What, what was it? What was it? What blew up? Oh, an AT gun. 75 medium still alive. Hiding from the Tiger tank. 75 medium. Maybe picking up a shy here. Tiger tank can't miss him. Tiger tank misses him. 75 misses the Tiger. What? It 75 has ass shots. Are they going to take it? Yeah, sorry, I gotta take the ass shots! What are they doing? What are we doing here, folks? I am losing my voice. This is the second match today I'm casting. I'm just streaming for 12 hours. What are we doing here, people? And they shell the fence in front of them. Axis bombing run. Dropping on Chapel, trying to clear it. Water Jug running right into the bombing run. Helios. Halfway to capping a AA battery. There's no response. Only a, a three guys, four guys spawning on defense. They might be able to stop this cap. 76 rolling off the top spawn here. Helios might be looking to end this match right here now. Coke, maybe picking up a kill there, just stopping it. What in the name of Sam Hill is going on? 75 medium. Looks like they're hit once by a rocket. Look at it come up behind that tiger tank. Tiger tank flipping around. 76, got to finish him off. Oh my god, the P medium Sherman diving right into the front of the Tiger tank. 76, not in position to finish off that Tiger. Seventy-six hitting the engine of Tiger. Tiger is dead in the water. Tiger going down. Vanguard starting to cap again. On the strong point. This is anyone's game. There's ten minutes left. Ten minutes left for Chapel. To be capped by Vanguard to secure the win, and vice versa for Helios to win. AT gun getting side shots on the Tiger tank. Mr. Chase, thank you for the three months, baby. Thank you, support channel. I appreciate all the support, man. Thank you. Support channel. You're a goddamn stud. What are either teams gonna do here? Mid Vanguard push coming up the middle creek here. 
Tiger tank, rep now, healthy, looking to engage that AT gun. If the AT gun can land one shot on the hull, might give the opportunity to, for the 76 just to one-tap that Tiger. Dijon Deal, thank you for the follow, buddy. Welcome on in. Also, once again, guys, thank you for all the follows. Thank you for all the subs. Glad to have you all. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the cast. If you guys are enjoying the cast, make sure to check out the YouTube page. We're on the road to 5,000 YouTube subs, guys. Rocket Snipes coming in on the garrison, maybe even hitting it. Eight minutes left for Vanguard to start capping. Achilles knows that they just got to turtle up, hold the point. They have two defensive garrisons. Not looking great. Allied bombing run coming in. It's the last bombing run of the game. Looks like Dank's looking to shut down the AT gun, saving the Tiger tank from any excess pressure. A lot of allied players on defense right now. Bombing run not hitting too many targets, actually. Shogun actually... Getting real lucky with his uh, spawn there. Just barely missing that bombing run. And it honestly, to my eyes, it does look like Vanguard's kind of a little slow to reset to the attack. Stuart, though, diving on in. All gas, no brakes. Not a fear in the world. Vanguard starting to flag the point again. Stuart Tank coming up on a Tiger. Bro, what are we doing here, people? That's a Tiger Tank. You have ass shots. I need a beer. I'm out of beer. I need a beer. Someone get me a beer. What are we doing, folks? What are we doing here? They knew the Tiger Tank was there. They had an AT gun who should have had it marked. Nailing it. Any other 76s getting in the field here? <laughs> Three blind mice uh, driving tanks. <laughs> What do we got going on here, folks? Two tank crews spawning mid. Two tanks! One last dive here, folks. Onto the strong point. One last push into the fray. Once more into the breach, my friends. They got a 276 is up in a medium against two tigers but it looks like the 76 might be getting pinched here helios with an outpost on the strong point of aa battery that does not sound like a recipe for success for this allied team they got one spawn wave off that outpost you know, this is this is when the ally team really needs to, you know, throw their full weight on Chapel. Looks like the garrison under pressure by Waffle Zombie. Ooh, this is getting messy here. This could go either way. It's still seven minutes on the board for something to happen here. Five minutes, I mean. Not a lot of time. Five minutes on the board. 76 is marked up. Possibly hit by the Tiger. No, no hit. Now the Tiger gets a hit on the 76. 76 confused. Oh my god. It's double peaked. They should not have stayed in that position. 
Axis team is starting to cap AA battery. Axis is looking like they're just going to run away with it on this last point. Charlie squad ready to back cap red roof. Vanguard not prepared to respond to this cap weight on the strong point. Vanguard playing pretty well all game. Same thing for Helios and TL. And yeah, they actually get a spawn wave. They actually might be able to make it a 2-3 game still. We'll see what happens. They do get some spawn waves on defense. But if they were looking to win the match. Uh, this is going to make it so. I don't think they're going to be able to pick up the win here. Two shots in the engine of the Tiger. The Tiger's engine. Tiger's dead. Gilio's still capping. Off a of soft cap alone, they're still capping. Uh, if Sealy goes down, I think that's going to be enough cap weight in favor of... Sealy gunning down multiple Vanguard players. Sealy and Devaco looking to seal the deal on this cap. Spooby! The crewman locking up the garrison! After his tiger tank died, he hopped out. In five seconds, Helios will have officially won the game. And Helios officially wins the game. GG's both teams. Not enough time on the board for Vanguard to cap back AA and capture Chapel. Technically, still enough time for Helios to 5 0 off this garrison. Vanguard has the opportunity to make it a 2 3 game. But honestly, Vanguard played pretty well here. Vanguard played pretty well. Helios played pretty well. Um, it's a 35v35, so it like response to things and balance is definitely shifted it doesn't always scale um what you can do in this game based off of like how many players you got it definitely changes how you need to play a little bit it does change it up GG's both teams. Looks like Helios might be going for the 5-0 here. Braz kind of like leading the charge for a lot of that stuff. Helios, good job. GG's TL, GG's WTH, GG's. Uh, Vanguard, GG's guys. Way to make some plays. It was kind of a, a quirky match there for a little bit. It's a little goofiness, but hey guys, GG's. I hope you guys got some good experience out of this match. Um, you learn some things. You, you got more experience um, as a team, and you guys grew because of it. I I think you guys everyone did a really good job. GG's both teams. Um, good stuff there. That was that was a lot of fun to cast. Uh, I you know sorry I was a little bit more low energy than I normally am, guys. Um, but yeah.